Mega Man, Hex 8, the last of the Mega Mans ever. Marathon 7, my name is Kazulu, of course, with Hex. We are going to be playing Mega Man X8 today. Uh, it's a, one of my favorite Mega Man X games. Probably the second favorite. And correction, it is the last one thus far, so. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get going here. Um, Hold on one second. Oh, oh, okay. You go do that. So we're going to start off here. Um, so X8 was in 2004, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's actually, oh, he's going to adjust the camera, cool. Uh, it was shortly after uh, Mega Man X7, which a lot of people, not myself included, didn't really care for. But, it, oops, that, that's the wrong button. It uh, tried to go back to the basics of a Mega Man game, so simple side scroller, nothing too fancy. Uh, there did some a couple additions, so like X actually has uh, two charges now, including uh, armor breaks. So there's some enemies that actually have uh, armor on them, so you can break them with a, with a second charge shot. He also now has an air dash fully equipped, which he's never had before. Axel, uh, this go around, they actually changed to be more like base in the Mega Man and base games. I'm going to take a couple damage here just to boost through all this stuff, because I don't feel like blowing these guys up. Blow that guy up, because he deserved it. But the other ones didn't? No. Um, so Axel kind of plays like base in the Mega Man and base, uh, and uh, base in Mega Man 10, so he's got uh, rapid fire in all eight directions. And we're just going to blow these guys up. We're currently playing this on Nintendo Switch, only because it's got uh, insanely fast load times. Um, these rooms originally on the PlayStation 2 and PC version were more or less loading screens so they could load in the rest of the level. So it's just little areas you can just uh, come in and just yeah, they did a blow up lots of enemies. They had a complete HD overhaul on the uh, Legacy collections for these games. It's actually Which, gorgeous. Yeah. Going back to them, it was like actually were a lot better yeah. than I so, remember them. So this is the, one of the uh, features of X8. It's called the double attack. There's a gauge that actually fills up on the left-hand side. When it's filled, you can press the right trigger and... You can pretty much do a uh, screen clear. It's kind of forced onto this boss. Zero uh, is pretty much the same. The only difference is that they actually made his dash super short, but he still has the double jump. I'm going to just take a couple damage boosts here as well. No, I cannot. Sorry. You got a phone call. You, uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? It, it's, it was a private number. I, I just <laughs> let it go to voicemail. <laughs> Just let Call, it go to voicemail. Caller ID picked it up as spam. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to jump in and kill some robot bees because apparently uh, someone decided we should make some robot bees. Bees, boy. Yep, well, that was good. There we go. Oh, X is back. Nope. I'm sorry, we're not on speaking terms right now. And we got the quintessential doors trying to close in on you. All right. And they're going to tell us about the boss real quick. Oh, uh, warning. Like, yeah. Warning. Basically, he's like, hey, you know that crab earlier you were fighting? Uh, oh, not yeah, a he's crab. he's back. Not a crab battle. Crab battle. <laughs> so this boss is actually pretty easy. All you got to do is armor break him and punch him in the face with a charge shot. Like, literally, we're just going to cheese him. He's like, high five. Oh, no. <laughs> this is literally all we're going to do. This is it. It's like, hold on, I got a fight here. Oh, nope. never mind. Nope. Not going to happen. Hey, I wanted to tell you about the sweet. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Crab's done. <laughs> Crab's done. It's only appropriate for Maryland. <laughs> We're going to play this cutscene real quick. 
because of missiles. It's a lot of missiles. Oh, who could that be? <laughs> How nice to see you again, Axel. Oh, it's Vile. We haven't seen him since X3, but Axel doesn't know who he is. <laughs> you used to be a Class A hunter. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I just love that cutscene because Axel's just like, who is this? Uh, Cygnus is back, and uh, in this game, he has been delegated to cheerleader of the Maverick Hunters now. Yes. No matter how <laughs> terrible you play, he'll just be like, hey, that looked like a hard fight. Just get some rest. It's like, thanks, Dad. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. All right, so we're, um, X8 did a little thing different as far as your upgrades. So now you get medals, which you can uh, run into, actually buy upgrades instead of finding... Uh, you still have to find some upgrades in the stages. But as far as like heart tanks and whatnot, um, as far as heart tanks, you know, you just have to buy them. So uh, because you have three different characters, you can choose between two, switch between them at any time, and then you can also choose a different navigator as well. Uh, each of the navigators actually have different um, strengths and weaknesses. So there's one that actually uh, tells you about uh, hidden locations. There's another one that tells you about uh, boss strategies, and then Aelia is just the best of both. She'll tell you about both. So this is Optic Sunflower Stage. We're going to start off with uh, him. Optic Sunflower Stage is tedious as all get up. Essentially, you have seven different stages of challenge rooms. And based on how well you do, depends on how, oh, I went the wrong way, depends on how difficult the next room is. There's uh, three different ranks of S, A, and uh, I just, I guess, poor. I, I don't know. Um, and based on how well you do in all seven depends on uh, what you get in the end, and I am not doing so well. I always considered it top tier, middle tier, and bottom tier. Just because of how it's ranked, you'll notice the lights behind every time you go into the teleporter. Yeah. All right, so we got top tier in this one. That's good. But uh, We're literally just shoot sitting here and shooting off screen. There we go. But of course, you always want to go for the top tier, because the reward's at the very end so much better. Well, there's actually, so there's three different, uh, or there's two different awards you can get if you get anywhere between, uh, I want to say four to six uh, S ranks, you actually get the uh, sub tank, which is what we're going to go for. Yep. And if you get all seven, you'll get what's something co called a metal generator. So as long as you just continue to walk, you'll automatically generate metals. So we're going to switch to zero here because he's got more verticality to him. I'm just going to help us kill this boss here. There we go. I, oh, I should not have killed him as quickly as I thought I did. Okay, cool. So, we're going to go into this one. I hate this guy here. I hate him on S rank, but I just want to guarantee that we get at least, we want to do at least, uh, no more than six. If we do seven, then we don't get that. Oh, of course, you're going to do that, aren't you? We, uh... Got a there comment go. in the chat. They're asking, "Isn't there a hidden Cutman fight in this too?" Uh, and there is. If we get chance, if we get some time, we'll we'll uh, we'll show that off as well. But yes. we don't want to do that in the beginning run because, like I said, we want to do um, we want to get the life medal. So there is a hidden uh, fight if you get all seven. We're gonna go and double attack this because this is annoying. Um, but if you get all seven, there is a hidden fight in this yep. game. Yes. It's slightly different to get it on, I believe, on the Switch because on the PS2. To, oh, the only way you could get it is you had to have a save file on your memory card from Mega Man X Command Mission, which is a underrated RPG that honestly so, needs to, <laughs> needs to be resurrected. So in that last room, there was a um, there was actually a uh, upgrade for X to start the armors. Um, it's a Buster Bart that we don't really need right now, but we can't get to it until we get uh, the Squeeze Bomb from another. Right, boss. So we're just going to ignore it for right now. Uh, I don't want to switch to Axel, but I don't have enough. Eh, we'll just go back here this way. We'll just do it this way. Yes, we uh, we are playing this on the uh, Switch. We're playing this off of the uh, Mega Man X Legacy Collection. But uh, Command Mission is not a part of that. Yeah. Command Mission is stuck on the GameCube and PS2. Oh, I hate this fight. And... Nope, no, oh, no. Nope. Oh, oh. Well, okay, good. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Because I bought the extra chip just in case. 
No accidents do happen. Well, that's good because live I, streams. because the thing is, is that um, that's going to guarantee I don't get the metal generator now, which is I don't want that. I want the sub tank. There we go. Blown well, no. up. Uh, there's another uh, rare metal in this room as well. We're going to ignore it. I think it's an upgrade for zero. We don't really need that. All right, so this room, there's two Reploids we need to kill. Actually, I'm going to let time run out here because I don't want... There we go. It's going to make the next fight a little bit easier. So we got five S ranks. That's good enough to get the life... Uh, to get the... Uh, sub tank here the only problem that i don't like with x8 is there are a lot of um there's a lot of uh recognition of the levels there's a lot of areas that you can just hit spikes and die especially if there's another stage coming up later that's just you oh, have to remember yeah. where those spikes are oh missed that one we'll save that surprise for later <laughs> for so this this boss fight doesn't really have a uh, timer to it you just have to uh take out it's cannons, ow. You gotta take out its little support. We're gonna switch back to zero so Axel can get some health. A little dragon head that shoots out fire, ow. Switch back to Axel to get some health. So that was one of the things of this game is that um, you can recover some health. There we go, Let's switch back to Axel there. So you can recover some health when you uh, get injured, but you have to switch characters to do that. Um, unlike X7, if one of your characters dies, you can actually, it just automatically switches to the other character versus X7, where if one of your characters die, it's a game over. So that's good. It basically adopted the Marvel versus Capcom partner system switch out. Oh, here. All right. So we got the life metal, or we got the sub tank. So that's good. I don't know why I didn't mute that. All right, so this is Optic Sunflower. Uh, pretty easy. The thing about all the Mega Man XA bosses is they actually have three, um, three levels to them. So level one's just their basic stuff. Optic Sunflower is going to put out a laser. Ow. Sure. Uh, they all have different like invincibility uh, segments to them. Are you serious? There we go. Seems so I can shoot them and nothing's gonna happen because they have like a small invisibility. Okay, so they go to level two now, which is like they get a little angry and their attacks just kind of get a little bit stronger. Yep, still immune. Nope. So I hate that. That is a trap. Uh, traps your character and you have to uh, switch uh, to free them. Otherwise you just kind of continuously smash all the buttons to try and free them out of that cage. Uh, pretty soon they're gonna go to, pretty soon he's gonna go to stage three. No, get away from me. All right, stage three. So this, all stage threes, they're always invincible. Oh, 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 oh didn't oh, mean to hit oh, that. Oh, get out of there. <laughs> okay, I thought I had enough time on that one. So he's gonna summon three different orbital lasers. We're just gonna dodge him quickly. Oh, nope, they were literally right in front of me. And we're just going to double attack to kill it, because why not? Bye, Optic Sunflower. Good job. Oh, wait, I don't need to tell you that. You're, you're going to find out here in a second. Weapon get. All right. Get that weapon. We will. All right, Sickness <laughs> is going to tell us how well we were. There you go. Just Let him tell it for you. That looked like a hard fight, but there was never any doubt that you'd come out on top. Thanks, Sickness. Welcome back. Rare man, if you manage. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Life tank. We're just going to run with one lifetime the entire time. We're going to give X a uh, life up as well and a weapon up. And I think that's all I can do right now. Yeah, that's all we're going to do right now. 
All right. So next stage is pitch black. We're going to now use X again. And we're going to put zero on the sidelines. We're not going to see him for quite a while, actually. It's kind of sad. Zero gets benched a lot in this game. Okay, so Dark Mantis' this stage is kind of interesting. Um, there's a lot of uh, Easter eggs with this one in the fact that um, it's kind of a rundown. Oh, yep, okay, whatever. Chip to yep. sell on the alarm. Eh, oh, no. whatever, it doesn't really do anything right now. Um, it's kind of like a, a facility that doesn't have any power right now, obviously, as you can see. Uh, there is a, there's a point in this level you can turn the power back on and get a couple, uh, uh, couple upgrades, but uh, we don't have the proper weapon for that. And we're just going to sit here and murder these not-serve bots. Because I don't remember what their names are, but they are definitely not-serve bots. It's electrifying. It's excellent. All right, so this part of the stage is actually, you have to, uh, oh, well, crap. You have to not get to the searchlights, because then that happens, and that's, uh, that's definitely not good. Take out this guy here. All right, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I didn't see him. That guy, too. <laughs> So uh, that guy there, you can actually um, copy him and uh, get to the area to turn on the power. There's also another rare metal there. Uh, again, we don't have the proper weapons to get it, and it's not really that important, so we're just going to ignore it. Oh, well, oh. there we go. Hey, Axel helped. All right. And we're going to get to another loading screen, and we're literally just going to shoot forward. This is the line to get shot. Make it maximum. It probably just has to be reloaded. Do we get to 200? 200. <laughs> there we go. All right, cool. Literally the line Don't to get worry, shot. Don't worry, guys. We'll just keep throwing guys out there. One of us is bound to get them. <laughs> they never did. Nope. The end. Ow. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to go here. Got to be careful with the spinning blades of death. We've got a room of death. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I definitely didn't want to do that. Cool. Good enough. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, nope. Get back to X. All right, so now we're going to get uh, the first armor upgrade here. Um, so X8, like X5 and X6, had two different uh, armors. So there's the Icarus armor, which is definitely more powerful, and then there's a the Hermes armor, which is more support. We're going to go for the Hermes armor because it has better upgrades. So the first thing you get is called the neutral armor, and then you get different components you can slot into it. So you don't have to worry yep. about... You don't have to worry about, oh, I got to complete the whole armor in order to unlock it. You know, that was X5 and X6, and I'm literally taking all the damage, and I don't care. Because they're dead. Hey, good morning, Chapel. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, the uh, neutral ar armor just allows you, you can actually mix the components together. So you can mix oh, Icarus hey, and Hermes. And Hermes yeah. together. You don't get the Giga Drives, different. or you don't get the Giga Attacks until you. Uh, get the whole armor set, though. But yeah, you right. can make some match on this one. We're going to go with the Hermes armor. So the armor that we got there was actually uh, the Hermes body armor. And what that does is uh, negates small attacks. So like uh, like mets that run into you, it doesn't actually hurt you. Icarus and Hermes. Oh, we're going to switch out here real quick. And ow. So what's kind of cool is that um, Axel doesn't use any weapon energy when he's using the special weapons. However, the actual damage is uh, significantly less than what X could use. So we primarily want to use X for most of the fights, but you know we can switch out with Axel. Oops, I wasn't paying attention because I decided to re-chat. 
Nope, missed that one. He's dead. All right, cool. Two down. I would say congratulations, but... Okay. Yeah. You know, we're we're going to wait, wait to see yeah, 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 the sunset. Just... Yeah. How do you find X8 compared to X7? I mean, X7, uh, X8 is, is definitely a, a step in the better direction. Yes. But after playing the X Collection uh, and trying to get every single one of those achievements, I have a better appreciation for X7. It's kind of weird. I know a lot of people just look at me like, what is wrong with you? But I kind of grown to like X7 now. Double A. I now can make batteries. All right, cool. There was never any doubt you'd come was, out on top. There was, uh, there was no need to doubt. Okay, so never we're going to give doubt. X another life up. Uh, okay, we can't give X another life up, too. Cool. All right, so that's all we're going to do right now. All right, next boss on the list is Primrose with Gravity Antonian. Once again, putting zero on the sideline. What is he fighting for? Uh, absolutely nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Just like how war is, is good for nothing. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't work. Uh, we're just going to bust it up. Cool. <laughs> Sickness is back but as you, the see there, as you see there, uh, you know, with the Hermes uh, body armor, didn't take any damage from that at all. I still take damage from spikes. I'm not, I'm not that crazy. All right, so what's kind of cool about uh, Gravity Antonian is obviously there's a little thing of gravity to it. Who would have known? So there's different uh, switches. The red switches uh, change the whole uh, stage around 180, and then there's also green switches, which only uh, changes them 90 degrees. All right, we we'll switch back to X here. Uh, ignore all those guys. You know what? Just because I feel like it, we're going to collect all these metals. There we go. Oh, I missed one. Oh, no. There we go. All right. Obviously, I don't want to press that red switch because I'm going to die, so we're going to switch those guys. I don't know why someone would want to make a robotic death wheel, but he's now dead. <laughs> it's reinventing the wheel, man. Unless they were like trying to make, you know, a new adaptation of snow tires. They right, would cool. do pretty well. They would do pretty well. All right, like, so what's good is that uh, the reason why we do this boss fight third, uh, or this room third, is that we get the vile fight here, which uh, I actually would rather have over what's supposed to be here, which is a room full of blocks that have a... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, there's I spikes on them, oh. and they can crush you, and you really need to know the pattern, and I'd rather not... Playing the game of memory. That. Yeah. All right, Vile's dead. Bye, Vile. There's a pretty interesting cutscene the first time uh, he shows up with the three different characters. Uh, I, for I forgot what they're what they talk about, but there's a pretty interesting cutscene. Uh, down that spike hallway, there is another upgrade. That's for the Icarus armor, so we are going to promptly ignore it and kill these guys, because I feel like it. There we go. There, he's dead. All right. Change gravity again. Blast this guy. And hit the spikes. Nice! No, I'm not. Cygnus didn't give you any words of encouragement there. He didn't, no. It's all Cygnus' fault. You, all right, we're just going to... You made Dad sad. Oh. <laughs> I got... <laughs> Cygnus, he needs encouragement. Where are you? Ready. Let's try this again. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Bye. There you um, go. So the armor that's actually down there is the head part of the Icarus armor, which allows you, uh, when you're jumping, you can attack enemies. So it actually makes some of these guys a lot easier to kill. All right, this time we're going to totally pay attention. I'm going to collect these medals because I feel like it. All right. 
I hate this room. Oh, yeah. No, no. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, no, that's fine. I just gotta get off the button. Or the button doesn't depress. That's fine, too. Nope. Oh, no. oh. There we go. Oh. Take the damage, because it's not actually going to damage me, and we're going to move on. All right, that's the last of the spike rooms. Don't have to worry about it, because we're at the boss now. Where's the heart upgrade? Uh, so X8 does the upgrades a little bit differently. You actually have to... Uh, the upgrades are, are uh, automatic. You just have to buy them. You don't have to oh, find yeah, that's them. That's right. Yeah, levels. they got rid of the whole heart system in this. I mean, one. there's still things you can you have to find in the game, but all right, Gravity Antonian. We're just gonna use Shadow Runner to try and kill him. Nope, 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 nope. No. I see what you're trying to do there. All right, so he's got a stage two, his angry phase. Just gonna keep hitting him with Shadow Runner. Ah, he put a black hole, so I can't shoot through this black hole. But again, Shadow Runner doesn't obey the laws of physics. Wow, okay. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> All right, so he goes to his angry uh, stage three. Berserk mode. He drops blocks. Oh. No, you don't. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. And just because I feel like it, let's work together. C -c 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 combo. Yeah, breaker. it was a combo breaker. <laughs> Squeeze Bomb, Spiral Magnum, that. Weapon Dead. <laughs> <Weapon that. dead. laughs> All right. Yeah, I gotta be that time. That looked like a heart. Yeah, you said the you said the same thing last time. <laughs> okay. So we are now gonna get um, I'm gonna buy Axel a life up only because I feel like I'm neglecting him. I'm gonna buy another weapon up for X as well. You feel like you're neglecting him? What about zero? <laughs> Solid we're gonna, zero. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna use him in a minute. All right, he, there we go. There we go. We gave him a life up as okay. well. Okay. Okay. We gave him a life up as well. He is now known as Four. X Axel and Four. All right. <laughs> Once again, putting zero on the sideline. Earth Rock Tree Labite. So this stage, <laughs> this stage is uh, kind of a little on the annoying side. It's, it's, it's kind of a short stage. What you got to do is you got to outrun this uh, Mechanoloid, who uh, apparently, quote unquote, has gone berserk. Grab that uh, metal. So we're going to take X and uh, pretty much just dash for this entire level, because most of these guys aren't going to damage him because of the Hermes body armor. The little Mets in, the, in their uh, right armors will hurt me, but everything else for the most part won't. That's the other thing with the neutral armor now, too, is that I don't have to worry about uh, the lost health, unless I get hit, the lost health disappearing. Wow, you s There we go. Get that. Ow. There's another upgrade there for X. It's, a, once again, part of the Icarus armor, so we're going to ignore it. Plus, we don't have the weapon to uh, get to it. There he is. And we're gonna punch him in the face. And dodge. And dodge. And dodge. And punch him in the face. This uh, this mechanoloid is about to have a very bad day. He's gonna have a uh, he's gonna have a great concussion when he's done. He's like, oh, right. not fair! So now we run all the way back. He's like, I don't wanna fight no more. Oh, I missed the uh, jump here. Hang on. I'm going to do it anyways. I don't care. We're going to switch to Axel. Oh, yeah. There's another uh, secret medal here. It's going to be useless to us, but I felt like getting it. 
Uh, the interesting thing apart this stage is that this is a very famous stage to grind out metals. Uh, oh, yeah. If you have Shining Laser and just smack him a bunch, he, every time you hit him, he um, has a chance to drop a 50 metal piece. And we're going to switch back out. So what you can do is you can just like just sit there and spam Shining, uh, shining Laser. Um, if you manage to get, uh, on a good run, five retries will net you about 30,000 medals, but it's also very tedious. So there's that. Yeah, they actually fixed that on the Switch version. There was a, well, no, there was a, there was a metal glitch. Yeah, uh, there was a metal glitch but, on the PS2 version, but yeah. they fixed it on the Switch. Oh, good, I don't have... Every now and then, uh, Vile decides to show up in this level, and I hate it because it's so claustrophobic of a stage. You have a hard time dodging. So, once again, instead of shooting enemies, we're just dodging crystal walls. And he's going to do it faster this time. All right, cool. Is there a... There is. There well, I'll, oh. I'll show you just a minute. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be using it for the boss fight. All right, so we're going to give this guy a concussion again. Nope, he dodged that one. Concussion. This is why you wear a hard hat. <laughs> nope, dodge that one again. Go. Oh, well, went right into that laser beam. And now he's done. Cool. So we're going to get out uh, Squeeze Ball. Or Squeeze Bomb, excuse me. Whatever it's called. All right, so Earth Rock Trilobite is going to come up. He's kind of like Armored Armadillo. You ha uh, would normally have to... Um, Blast off his shielding, but Squeeze Ball just completely destroys it. Oh, I'll miss that one. <laughs> well, like I said, you can. Uh, it's better to use X during these fights because his special attacks deal more damage. All right, we're gonna switch back to Axel just to get some health to X. So Axel's weapon can shoot through the crystal walls. You don't have to worry about it, but. You still have to worry about the crystal walls himself. We're going to switch back to X so that Axel can get some health. There we go. All right, he's going to go to his third stage soon. There we go. Okay, so he's going to go to his third stage. He's invincible through this, so even if I shoot him with Axel's weapon, nothing's going to work. So we're going to switch back to X and try and to avoid all this stuff. Yep, all right. And one more squeeze ball should do it. Or he's going to do this. Now he's dead. <laughs> okay. Four down, four to go. Weapon get. <laughs> I think it's a hard fight. It was a hard fight, yeah. All right. But he knew you wouldn't. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to give Axel another life up. And do I have enough to give zero life up? I do not. Okay. I have enough to give X's final weapon up, so that'll be He helpful. remains four. X, Axel, and four. All right, so we're going to bring Zero out of retirement. Oh. Let's do it. oh, this fight. So this is the one of two oh. ride chaser segments in X8. This is the more annoying one of the two. 
uh, with Gigabolt Man of War. So essentially, Gigabolt Man of War is flying around uh, Megalopolis. And essentially, what you have to do is you have to just shoot him down. You get two minutes, I think, to shoot him down. Uh, the problem is, is that you have to yeah. boost up with him, and your boost is dependent on your weapon gauge, which is why we wanted to make sure that was as uh, filled as possible, so we can get the uh, best possible boost. And... Come on! You're almost dead! Come on! Come on! Just accept your fate. There we yeah, go. This, cool. This All right. whole fight was probably one of the worst. Yeah. In the whole game. Oh. Yeah. It's, the boss fight is actually pretty easy. It's just yeah. the stage. It just goes straight to the boss fight, though. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, no, he's perfectly fine. All right, so we're gonna just ignore that cutscene. All right, so we're gonna switch to zero here, as soon as I get Crystal Wall set up. Because the uh, upgrade that we got from Earthrock Trilobite allows Zero to now um, redirect attacks, which is also what uh, Gigabolt Man of War is weak to. So I literally don't have to worry about anything else. I just, just attack with the saber. That's all I have to do. He's going to spawn many jellyfishes. I'm going to continue to attack him. All right, stage three. So in this stage, he actually uh, will send uh, lightning bolts down on the stage. Thankfully, Crystal Wall acts as a lightning rod, so we don't have to worry about that. That's literally all we have to use X for. Yeah, we just need to do one more. There we go. Dead. That's actually a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty quick boss fight. Be George Shetson. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think about. With that. <laughs> Just goes quiet. <laughs> now, Plasma Gun's the gun uh, I would need on Dark Mantis' stage to um, go ahead and, you know, get all the hidden up. Charge the generator, yep. Yep. Ah, only a double A. Okay, interesting analogy, but sure. All right, we're going to give Zero another life up here. That's why I live, Cygnus. I live in the city. Uh, I don't have to backyard. worry about any more weapon ups from here on. Uh, now he's nine. Uh, all right, cool. We should be fine. <laughs> all right, now we're going to do the second ride armor stage, Central White with Avalanche Yeti. This is actually the better of the two ride chaser segments. She don't get through it as fast, though. No. So what's interesting about this one is uh, each of the Maverick Hunters ride chasers act like their actual ability. So X can actually charge up his shots. Zero has a uh, wide beam. And Axe, of course, has the rapid fire. I'd rather use Zero because I'd rather have the wide beam than Ow. I'd rather have the wide beam than using uh, the rapid fire here. I think that with zero, I mean, not zero, uh, X, between the three of them, he, his uh, shot goes the farthest. Especially when, so, you, yeah. when has, you charge it. And has a bigger splash damage, too. Yeah. But again, with, zero does have the wide beam on this one, so I forgot I was going to be boosting this entire time, and I haven't been. Which is also going to help you once that you get to that one part when he's so far off. Yeah. So you gotta be careful when uh, doing the different boosts here because as you see, there are uh, segments you can just fall off. Oh yeah. All right, so uh, mini boss time. Yep, this is what I'm talking about. Immediately fly forward. <laughs> it's gonna drop off some ads here. I'm just gonna quickly kill them. And then we just try and blow them up as quick as possible. All right, cool. So, first stage done. He's 
going to drop more ads. I always, whenever I was practicing, I completely forgot, oh yeah, that's right, he drops enemies. Every time. It was just like, oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, Zero's dead. Oh, that's Abandoned not good. ship. Oh. Because we actually, we do actually need Zero uh, to get the next armor upgrade for X, though. So, got to make sure he doesn't die. Kill all the not serve bots. Ran right into that. Ran right into that. All right, now I gotta be careful of how I boost, because there's a lot of segments here you can fall off. Right into that. All right, cool. We're out of that now. Hey, Zero's got this one. I don't know if you knew that. All right, so he this got guy's one back. For change. So he's going to do a little bit different. He's going to fly ahead and now fly backwards and drop ads. He's going to drop uh, the little bomb guys. He drops like four of them. Yep. And then he does a head on. There we go. And once again, we just try and take him out as quickly as possible. He can drop ads again. Last shot here before he resets. He's going to reset. Okay. Close. I still got him on that one. That's not too bad. The problem is we need Zero to get to the armor upgrade, but we need X to get it, and there we go. The last time I did a practice run, Zero died, and I totally forgot I needed his double jump. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's definitely not good. Oh, but I didn't collect enough of those little orbs to break the door. Oh, Mega Man X5. All right, jump up here. Uh, melt the ice. And this is the uh, second part of the Hermes armor we're gonna need. This is the head armor. So what's cool about the head armor is it allows you to charge up your shots super quickly. It's not super useful, but it's kind of useful in, in hectic times. All right, so now we're going to go off against Avalanche Yeti. Warning. Warning. All right, he's pretty simple. He does a lot of body chucks. Uh, I just totally avoided that. There we go. Stage two is he likes to hide under the ice and does a Shoryuken. <laughs> I mean, what would you, it's literally a Shoryuken right there. He also sometimes puts up like a little ice barrier that will freeze your uh, character when he collides with you. Yep, there it is right there. We're just gonna try, nope. There we go. Nope, stop it. There we go. And he should be at stage three now. Yep, there we go. Okay, so stage three, he pretty much uh, creates snowflakes that fall ever so slowly onto the stage. Yeah, they're easily avoidable. You can also just shoot them if you want to. Oh, it's gonna destroy Yoken again. But unfortunately for him, 
Ah, uh, he's done. All right, six down, two to go. That's time to go home. We have to go, guys. Sorry. Yeah, Dad's calling. And Axel gets a Gatling gun. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? I only got a single A. I'm hoping I can get a triple A soon. Looks like a hard fart. All right, so we're going to go ahead and not do anything because we don't have enough medals to do anything else. So we're just going to save them. Uh, the entire time, there's also cutscenes to try and expand uh, on uh, the different navigators and, of course, uh, X-Zero and Axel. Uh, throughout, you also uh, be like, hey, there's a common denominator with all these Mavericks. Uh, can you guess who that could be? What's funny is that uh, during the course of the conversation, uh, X is just like, okay, yeah, no, there's no doubt in my mind. This is Sigma. This has to be. We're, it's definitely Sigma. Is it Sigma? It's Sigma. Are you sure? So this is Burn Rooster Stage, Inferno. <laughs> you are going inside an active volcano that is used to uh, uh, uses their uh, res uh, refuse. It's, of course, have got the annoying uh, fix scrolling down. So if you jump too far down, you die. So we're going to use Axel just because of the safety of him being able to hover and almost died there. So that was great. <laughs> that was absolutely great. And I'm just using the ice, uh, the, uh, ice Gatling for Axel because it's just hilarious. I can also... Uh, whatever. Oh. I'm okay. Dr. Light is the connection. Well, you know, funny is, you know... He's the catalyst he, if of he it just, all. If he just <laughs> let Wily uh, use the double gear system. All right, so that's the end of that. Eh, there we go. Why not? Look at that. This guy has a shield that's uh, annoying because it doesn't break. And we're going to switch to X as we take out the not-serve bots, and they don't really do much damage to X. And by not much damage, I mean none at all. Once again, the line to get shot, except for that one. And that one. <laughs> and that one. All right, cool. I'm going to switch back to Axel so we can get some health back to him. See, I always thought when I, when I was playing this, that section right there, where they're all just like coming out of the furnace. I feel like they're just trying to escape because <laughs> they're burning in there. <laughs> There's you're, just, a, uh, you're just putting them out of their misery. The, shot, the spot I shot there uh, <laughs> has a metal. If you have a fully charged crystal wall, there's also a little, uh, there's a little uh, access way. Uh, ah, there we go. There's a little access oh. way that um, uh, if you copy a Reploid later on in this level, you can get into for another rare metal. We're going to ignore both of those because, again, they are annoying. Oh. Whew. Whatever. All right. This day, this part of the stage has a lot of uh, one-hit spike deaths. All right, we're going to climb up here ever so carefully to get the last upgrade we need for X, which is the Hermes Boots. Uh, the Hermes Boots will, uh, whenever you dash, you are invincible. Uh, so you can just like pass right through enemies, which is actually going to help us out in a boss fight later, uh, later on. Unfortunately, you can't skip the voicemail messages that Dr. Light leaves you. So you just kind of like... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. I said the Ice Gatling is just hilarious. All right, and we're out of the spike room. That's the enemy you need to copy if you want the one rare metal, but he's now dead, so, so much for that. And back to the line to get shot. Except for that one. He lives. Look at him, they live no, right he didn't there. live. They're like, help! Put the fire out! Well, that's what you get for uh, going into the boiler, I guess. <laughs> 
Well, the fire's out. Should have removed a stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> There's another rare metal above us. We are just going to simply ignore it and go back to the fixed scrolling down. My favorite. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah. uh, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh. Hanging out up there too long. Yeah, because apparently I got, I got squished on something, I think. I don't know. It's the laws of platforming. And physics. <laughs> there we go. That's why we're going to use Axel, so we have the hovers just in case. We're getting close to the bottom here. There's a lot of leaps of faith. Oh, give me that one. Thank you. Yep, here we are. Oh, 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 yeah, dodged it. <laughs> Those dodge skills. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm, uh... Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, so Burn Rooster. Uh, pretty easy. He's uh, He freezes a lot just like uh, Spark Mandrel in X1. So he's going to the second stage where he just raises and lowers the platforms, which are just annoying. They don't really add any difficulty to the level. It's like, and then they stop. So, you know, it's like, okay, what was that for? Wow, okay. You would think if Burn Rooster was smart enough, maybe just make all the platforms go into the lava? Yeah, you'd think, but... Uh, I mean, that was Burn Rooster, you know. So he goes his uh, third stage where he just coats the sides with fire. It's not really a problem at all. He's behind me, isn't he? Oh God! <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna like keep attacking with the ice gatling. And make me where I'm trapped. <laughs> hey, it's his own fault. There we go. You snuffed the rooster. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh no, because guess what? We can't teleport out because, oh no, the volcano's about to explode. Oh, you so now we got to go up <laughs> and dodge instant death, which, uh, once again, it's not really, not really a problem. What becomes a problem is if you uh, decide to get greedy and want to get some more rare metals. That's it. Once again, Axel's still carrying the Gatling gun because why not? It's hilarious. Yep, yep. Running away from an active volcano. We can cool the volcano. No, we can't. The volcano is a weak is, is weak apparently. <laughs> also, Axonal gets a flamethrower. Because why not? You Axel get gets all the cool weapons. You get that weapon. Hold on, words of encouragement. Oh. Today's quote. Congratulations. You are officially the best Maverick Hunter in history. 
That, I guess he, everybody else is he's playing. He's really X, proud of you today. <laughs> I, I guess anybody else who's playing an X game has to go home now. <laughs> all right, last upgrade for X. That's all we can really do right now. Eh, you know, we'll get a retry trip. Why not? Uh, and just because I feel like wasting the chips, we'll use a hyper AT. All right, last one, which is Bamboo Pandemonium. Panda Express, here we the come. Best name for any Maverick. Hands down. Panda Express? No. <laughs> Bamboo Pandemonium. Just because it's hilarious to say. This is also the only stage in which you get a ride armor. Nope, nope. Ow. <laughs> there we go. Someday it'll work. <laughs> Got it. First try. There you go. What's also cool about this ride armor is you can just stomp on enemies. You can play Mega Man like it's a Mario game. Just... Oh, there's a Goomba. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> just jump on the pilot. <laughs> That's the armor doesn't die, but the pilot's like, oh! <laughs> All right, so uh, loading stage again. I'm just got to punch the crap out of some ride armors. Rock em, sock em. The cannon actually is just a, uh, just freezes them in place. It's not really worth it. Go. There's another upgrade for X above us. It is once again part of the Icarus armor, so we are going to promptly ignore it. The only, wow, really? Okay. Bye. Oh, okay, fine. Came back from the dead. The only upgrade we don't have for X right now is a uh, is a Buster part. That's quite all right. Um, the actual Buster part for the Hermes armor was back in uh, Optic Sunflower stage. It actually just splits up your uh, charge shots in three. Ah, there we go. All right, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah, made it. Hey, good morning, Tabby. Woo. And good morning to everyone out there. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do appreciate you. Yeah, I'm just going to punch the crap out of more ride armors. All right, this one's gonna be a little tricky. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So we're gonna let the ride armor uh, go down here real quick. We're gonna let the ride armor ride. Um, you, if you, uh, if you're good enough, you can actually damage boost and uh, ride with the ride armor. We're just not gonna do that. We're just gonna pick it up. Now, what's kind of cool is that you can let the ride armor go all the way up this elevator. Pick it up, and then take it all the way back, break through the wall, and ride the elevator again. Uh, it's, uh, that rare metal's not worth it. But what we're gonna try and do here. Let's beat this guy up. All right, we gotta do this. We gotta do this smart. Okay. You can do it. Cygnus believes in you. Okay. We can, we can do it. Got it. All right, cool. We're going to bring the right armor to the boss fight, and it's promptly just going to blow up, probably. But you know what? It doesn't matter. So brought the right armor to the boss fight. He's so proud of you. I, yeah, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bamboo Pandemonium. Panda Express. What? We're just going <laughs> to punch the crap out of him. All right, he's going to go his angry phase. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep, it blew oh. up. It blew up. That's okay. That's the wrong weapon. 
sense. We're going to light a panda on fire. Come on now. All right, fine. Let's work together. All right. We decided we want takeout. <laughs> <laughs> So if you want further proof that Axel is literally a one-man army, he has a Gatling gun. Yes. He has a flamethrower. Okay. He now has a grenade launcher. What more do you want? That's why Axel's the best character. He might as well be Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, we that whole thing. <laughs> it was a hard fight. All right. Um, so hard. We are going to give Axel the last life up. Sorry, Zero. Also, now we uh, there's no doubt in, my, in X's mind it's Sigma. And then Sigma shows up. And then X goes, Sigma was really after the Jacob project all along? You knew yeah, this. You knew this. <laughs> you literally knew that. You just said that. Roger. All right. We're going to bring Zero out of retirement one last time. Best soundtrack in the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once again, we're going to use uh, Zero for his verticality and his attacks. And we're just going to, like, jump around. Like... I always wondered how the orbital elevator works. This massive elevator that goes in between the moon and Earth. Well, it doesn't really go to the moon. It's uh, It goes out into orbit, so that's an easier way that you can they can, like, transport to the moon. Okay. Because you can't really keep it just the seems like it just Well, the, the, thing, the thing is, you can't, you can't build a structure, a solid structure that goes to the moon and just stays there. Because the moon kind of like, you know, has to follow an orbit to, you know, keep the, uh, 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 keep the tides in check. There's a lot of, there's a, there's a lot of science got involved. This massive Let's put it that way. pillar that's just sticking out of the earth. <laughs> As it orbits yeah, that's, in that's, space. That's, that's... that's yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Who put this tower here? <laughs> oh, didn't kill him. All right, cool. And once again, killing the robot bees because somebody thought making robot bees was smart. Oh, God, not the bees. <laughs> oh, fine, be that way. Science says an orbital elevator is possible. Well, yeah, an orbital elevator, but not an elevator to go from the Earth to the moon and have it stuck there. To the moon. <laughs> I don't know. I just always assumed that it was that because you end up on the moon after this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like, like I said, it's it's meant to just be a teleport, uh, an easier way to teleport to the moon for the characters. I feel like every time, like, because in X four, when they had to go to the to the the space colony, he had to like fly there in a shuttle. X five. No, well, five he had to destroy it, but like X four <laughs> when he had to go. That's true. Yeah. Final weapon. Oh shoot! Yeah, he did. They never like transport over there, like teleport over there. Yeah, sometimes they forget they can teleport, so... Why'd I switch back to X? Oh, because I'm getting, getting Zero some health, that's right. There we go, Zero's got some health. Let's blow up some bombs. And not serve bots. Zero needs health again. Yeah, more bombs. There we go. Line to get shot. Didn't do a good job that last run. There we go. I think this is the room that the... Uh... Yeah, there he is. Those invincible shields you can really only uh, break with... Um... 
that attack or um, Bamboo Pandemonium's weapon. Can I say how much I miss the Mega Man 11 quick change stick? <laughs> I miss that so much now. I didn't even really use that from when I played it, honestly. I'm more of the guy who always goes to the start screen. It's like my weapon there. Okay, we're good. Warning. Warning. Okay, it's vile. Ooh. End of the road. Oh, missed that one. There you go, now he's frozen. I can't escape. Okay. I'm just gonna freeze you then. Alright, there's a stage two. Should go to stage three soon. We're gonna switch back to zero real quick. Alright, there uh no, not yet. There's a stage three. All right, this is kind of annoying. Vile kind of electrifies the field. Now, as you can see, there's some points that the uh, electricity does disappear, so you can go through there. Or if you have the Hermes uh, leg upgrades, you can just dash through them because you turn invisible, because that's how that works. I feel like he'll short out. Doing that for as long as he is. Yeah, you'd think, but uh, you know, this this is the same vial who's now been back from the dead for the third time. So, and he got those predator dreads now. All right, and he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he does. And that's it for vial, for now. All right, that's the last you'll see of zero. So, everybody, wave goodbye. <laughs> oh, you mean X, Axel, and Nine? Yep. <laughs> so you uh, won't upgrade them ever again? Oh. All right, I want to double check. I don't think there's anything else I can get right now. X, yeah, Axel Axel's pretty nine. good. We'll get, we'll get a speedy recovery. Why not? We'll get that for X and Axel here. Because the weapon ups, the weapon ups for... Um, do a... Bike Walker as well, why not? The uh, the weapon ups for Axel really only affect his uh, transformation. They don't really do anything else for him. Do a Spike Walker as well. And why not? We'll get the last retry chip. He'll never know what he was fighting <laughs> for. Bye, Zero. He'll never know. All right, so now we have the boss rush. This is kind of interesting because there's only three... Uh, Sigma stages as opposed to the normal four. So we just go right into the boss rush room, which is kind of interesting because it's a uh, giant pipe organ. Because why not? All right, so we're going to start with. We're going to start with Bamboo Pandavonium. Why not? Because you know what? We light pandas on fire. Ow. Get that sweet heat chicken. Ow. I took no damage twice now. Good. This is gonna continue to light him on fire. I literally don't have to do I'm just gonna stand here and take grenades in the face, apparently. Oh, no, no, we gotta dodge this one. Alright, we're good. Uh, okay, fine. Be that way. Ah, oh, he was just a copy. All right. So let's get uh, let's get that. Get back to health. Shining ray on Dark Mantis. to the ground panda. Nope, missed that one. All right, now he's in stage two. He's going to jump across the stage. We're just going to kill him with fireworks. <laughs> but not discount fireworks. Uh, this way. There we go. 
And... Oh, missed the fireworks that time. Ah, there we go. Kill the fireworks. <laughs> uh, hey, Avalanche Eddie, why not? I was just gonna shock him. Oh, okay, fine. Nope, nope, get away from me. <clears throat> I do not want to be frozen today. Nope, I do not want to. Do you want to build a snowman with him? No. Oh, come on. No, because he's just gonna show nice. you. He just tried to shuriken me. He's just collecting the snow. See, look. Nope, nope. Ow. It doesn't have to. There we go. Be a big old popsicle. Big old popsicle. <laughs> How about snow cones? There, there you go. Yeah, they're just lemon. All right, burn rooster. I should have made you choose the uh, the oh, bosses. You got this. Because that apparently is the going theme of. You played the. We had uh, the person on the couch choose the boss. You played the organ pipes there. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, well, how about, can I build an? Uh, can I build a snowman out of burn rooster? I mean, I'm already, you know, f freezing them. Like earlier, science says you can't do that. You just make puddles everywhere. Oh. Yeah, it's... It doesn't actually work, I'm sorry. Damn. Oh, I was gonna coat the sides with fire. He'll get me. But uh, he's not I'm doing a good job. I'm gonna get you, but I'm gonna. He's not doing a good job. I know of you're it. behind me. I'm yeah. just gonna. Rah. And I'm gonna raise these up so I can trap myself in here. Oh, ow. why? Why do I do this to myself? I there it is. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah, never mind. Ah. ah, it's not a copy. Shh. Don't copy that floppy. Done. Do people know what a floppy is nowadays? I mean, I know what a floppy disk I mean, is. Oh, I fell. Anyone, <laughs> anyone who got that reference knows how old I am. <laughs> All right, uh, crystal ball. <laughs> See, some people in the chat know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It was so funny. That was, was computer I was actually, class in elementary I was, school. I was actually uh, going through... Um, some of the old computers I had in my basement, and I had uh -huh. one that had a zip drive built into it. I'm like, oh my god, remember when zip drives were a thing? Oh yeah. My dad had, had a zip drive built into our family computer when I was yeah. growing up. Yeah, that, that went well. Because there were zip drives, and there was like, I think it was like jazz drives. There was something else that they did too. Yes, the iOmega zip drives. Yeah. Are they even still in business? I don't... I, I don't know. <laughs> What's that? No? Okay. No. <laughs> we got confirmation. The, the CD beat him out. All right, we're going to do the, uh, the lightning rod again. And we're just going to shoot up. Oh, the Sony mini discs. I remember the... Remember the Sony... Uh, the music players they had too. Oh jeez. Oh technology. Those were some weird times. Although remember, it only took two hundred years uh, in the Battle Network universe for everybody to go super wireless, you know, with, with cell phone signals and everything. But you still had to jack into a TV. No, you or, didn't. or your oven to put out. Uh, no, you did. Not in Star Force. Fire. Oh, not in Star Force. You didn't. 
You said Battle Network. It said it took 200 years for Battle Network in the Battle Network universe. Still. 200 years would be... Okay, fine. Hey, look, it's Earth Rock Trilobite again. Gesundheit. <laughs> yeah, you were even cool if you had an MP3 player. Absolutely. Because, <laughs> yeah, I grew up in the times of the, of the, the original iPod. Oh, poor Earth Rock Trilobite. All right, now he's going to go with his third stage here. <laughs> if I keep doing it in the same pattern, he will die. Nope. Nope. There we go. Now he's dead. Aw. Oh. It's okay. He was just a copy as well. Don't have to worry about it. Don't copy. Don't <laughs> copy that floppy. <laughs> We're back yeah, to that again. Yeah, I still again. remember it. We're back to that Don't again. Don't know what okay. I'm talking about. Look that up on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I think we got two left. Yeah, two <laughs> left. Uh, I forgot who this one is. Oh, it's Optic Sunflower. Okay. Yeah, they're all color coded, but I don't remember the. This, most of them I don't remember what uh, special. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. That sentence just like completely died in my brain. Nope. Too early. Too early again. Okay, you know what? We're just going to switch to <laughs> Axel because he's got a grenade launcher. Behold, my animations make me invincible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is why Axel is the best, because he also has a grenade launcher. But like I said before, like even though Axel does have infinite use, uh, they are weaker than, uh, than X's weapons. Still get the job done, though. All right, stage three. Oh, you're going to be in the center. OK, fine. And done. buy bootlegs from eBay, kids. <laughs> All right, last one. Gravity Antonian. And then we're done with the boss rush. Nope. There we go. The problem is, is that um, uh, the Shadow Runner doesn't actually um, track the target when they're invincible. So I gotta wait for them to not be invincible for me to shoot it. There we go. Ooh, that was almost my face. Okay. All right, good. He's gonna go to his uh, angry face. Whoa, that was close. Nope, you can't have nice things. And done. All right, that's it for the boss rush. Boss rush. I can speak this morning. You ended piracy. I'm proud of you. Oh, no, the pipe organs are blowing up. Oh, no. Ganon's not going to be happy about that. Sigma barred them from Ganon just for one time. <laughs> Blew them up. Warning. Warning. Oh no, it's Sigma! 
Well, this will be ended. Oh, we're gonna end the game early then. <laughs> oh crap! 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 There we go. I forgot he's got that shield. Oh, it's for me? Oh, why, thank you, Sigma. How did you know I wanted a, a, a stage coated in fire? Well, Sigma's dead. We can go home now. And, oh. Oh, wait, now piracy's done. <sighs> I guess we got one more stage to play. <laughs> Fine. Sigma has to be a spoil sport. No, it's not accomplished, X. No. That's fine There's... from accomplished right now. The fret still looms. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold uh, on. Uh. You got through that stage as if it were your own backyard. Nice work. Okay, fine. Just because X lives on the moon. <clears throat> now and forever. Okay, uh, I forgot to check. <laughs> Get him off of there. <laughs> hey, maybe he'll find uh, uh, Mega Man Volnut. Yeah. And we might... <clears throat> Get another Legends out of it. I think that eh, we'll get a Purple Barrier, why not? And eh, we'll get a Spare Energy. Why not? And Weapon Bottle, sure. We're just wasting, we're just wasting stuff at this point. Hey, Chain Combo, Super Recover. Let's get it all. That's not the button, that's the button. Hey, Zero, would you like stuff? No, because we're not using you in this level. You're in retirement. Go figure out what you're fighting for. <sighs> He's fighting for sadness now. <laughs> oh. All right, Sigma Palace, last stage. Ah, oh, we're gonna ignore you. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'll just ignore those guys. Oh no, not Vile again. Whoever would have thought that Vile would show up here. He's like, I don't even need to pilot it. I'll just Captain Morgan this such. <laughs> there we go. You know, you keep saying that, Vile, that I can't escape, and yet somehow I do. Oh, well, no, missed that shot. Thing is, is that we don't really want to use Axel in this fight right now. We want to we want to uh, have Axel uh, when we get to the next part of the stage. So we're pretty much putting this all on X right now. There we go. Oh no! Now Vile's dead. Or so we're led to believe. <laughs> what's actually funny, uh, or funny? What's actually interesting? If you play this on hard mode, um, when you beat Vile and you go through the door, your uh, companion character is actually with you, and the door closes on them, and Vile comes back and, you know, actually captures him. So you gotta play this entire stage with only one character. Huh. Don't worry, they show up, he, they, uh, they show up back in the nick of time in, a, uh, in the uh, Sigma fight. But it's kind of interesting. But I'm not playing on hard mode, because I, uh... I like my sanity. <laughs> yep, once again, Axel, one man army, lobbing grenades and Sigma clones. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get that health there. Oh. Switch back to Axel. I absolutely. I yeah, this is. Uh... Get so much anxiety every time I have to jump over that. All right, cool. Have more grenades. Done. Good luck. I'll take care of it. Give me a hand. Leave it to me. 
Interestingly enough, Sigma is uh, allergic to fireworks. I don't know if you knew that. That's bad. Yeah. His 4th of July are terrible. Oh, wow, Sigma, you have looked <laughs> better. <laughs> That's what happens when he's exposed Whew. to fireworks. <laughs> oh, my skin broke out. Oh. So Sigma fight is just annoying. He sends out those little uh, death circles. Or firework. In the he's only vulnerable in his face, so we got to be careful. And unfortunately, the fireworks aren't really a good uh, attack pattern. All right, now he's going to go stage two. He's going to grab X. We're going to do a character switch. Shoot him in the face some more. Ow. I'm going to switch back. Ow. Try to get a firework off there. I gotta be careful here, because I'm actually running low on health. All right, we gotta switch back to X. All right, third stage here. Uh, doesn't really change up anything, except for the fact that um, he now gets a uh, shield every now and then, which you can only uh, take off with a fully charged shot. All right, there's a shield. I gotta switch characters, because X is about to die, which means I'm probably gonna have to do a retry on this one. All right, we gotta switch characters again. Yep, knew it. All right, cool. And dead, cool. So the cutscene that plays out, uh, you rescue uh, the character you were trying to get from the beginning. Turns out, oh no, Lumine is the actual bad guy this entire time. Who saw that one coming? Surprise, it's not Sigma. Dun, dun, dun. Also, Lumine uh, stomps on Sigma's corpse. So that's fun. Okay, so this is Crystal Wall. We're going to switch over to Axel. Now, what's cool is that um, Lumine actually has the same supers that the bosses do. But, as you can see there, Luminae was totally vulnerable. All right, we're going to do... Actually, I can't really do anything with this one. Because Luminae's immune this entire time. So we're just going to continue to shoot Luminae. Uh, he does Avalanche Yeti's... Uh... Oh, Dark Mantis, I think? Yeah. Ow. All right, we're going to switch characters. I need health back to uh, Axel here. I can't see which one Illuminate just picked. Oh, blocks. All right, cool. So Illuminate is now going to go into stage three. He's going to coat the sides with uh, Burton Rooster's fire, but they are not permanent, if I remember correctly. I've practiced this so many times, I've... Ow. No, they are permanent. Oh, I need... Axel needs health. I don't remember what the... Okay, that's uh, Optic Sunflower. All right, cool. Luminae's dead. All right. Now we get stage two with uh, Seraph Luminae. Uh, Luminae just pretty much goes and says, Oh, we... Uh, we, uh, we decided to go Maverick anyways. It's, a, it's an interesting cutscene, but uh, we're just going to skip it. So now we have Seraph Luminae. I'm probably going to need to get health to these guys. Uh, let's get some health to X real quick. Unfortunately, Luminae doesn't really have any uh, weapon weakness. You just kind of have to... Um, just have to continue to buster him down. The good news is, once again, because we have the uh, Hermes outfit for X, we can actually uh, invisibly boost through some of his attacks. Unfortunately, Lumine likes to uh, make himself invulnerable sometimes. All right, stage two. Ow. 
Ow. Oh. All right, gotta switch out. All right, now he does vertical spikes, which you pretty much just have to remember the order you dashed in, because they go up and down. Ooh, Ow. We actually did. We're actually at 15. 1,500 now on donations. Ooh, got one. Stage three. Donated $12.30 to even us out. Thank you so much. Jang Django. Thanks, Django. Django, thank you so much. Appreciate it. While X is trying to fight for survival, you guys as well can go over to megamanathon.com if you haven't already and donate to help us out on our cause. Our goal here to uh, raise money for Child's Play Charity, help those sick kids out. You can find all the details there. All right, so now we're at the final stage for uh, Seraph Lumine. <coughs> Excuse me. In which uh, Luminate performs Paradise Lost. Oh, this is fun. You have 30 seconds to kill Luminate. Go. <laughs> and go. So Luminate is going to cover himself. You just have to uh, break the armor. And for the sake of time, let's work together. And that's time. Dunzo. <laughs> All right, so we got some extra time here, so we're gonna show off a couple, uh, couple secrets real quick. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You're dead. How could you be Paradise Lost? That's creepy. <laughs> that is, that was very creepy there. <gasps> I do like the designs uh, of the Reploids in it, in X8. They actually look like they could walk, unlike like the giant boots that they it's used true. to have. But at the same time, you notice they're going slimmer, kind of like their uh, That's Mega creepy. Man Zero counterparts. Oh no, the best character just got killed. And now Lumine's dead. For realsies. Until X9. What do you think, Zero? <laughs> nope, he's dead. <laughs> All right, cool. Anyways. He's gone. No, he's fine. They just ride the uh, elevator back, and they have a, uh, have a moment where they're like, hey, this was a thing. <laughs> I don't know how to sum it up. I really don't. <laughs> this is a very long elevator. Can we just teleport back? No, take the elevator. <laughs> All right, so let's show off some of the secrets of the game. So we're gonna load up a, a save file I had before. So one of the things is when you get the characters to 100%, you beat the game, you can actually unlock um, their ultimate forms. The other cool thing is if you use an operator the entire way through, you can actually, uh, which is one of our donation incentives, you can actually play as said operators, and they play uh, like X-Zero and Axel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to load an Optic Sunflower stage again. Uh, this time we have Ultimate Armor X. Uh, we can also choose between Black Zero, like the normal staples, or now the, uh, I guess, Luminate Axel. Uh, yeah. Once again, Zero's going to get shafted. Sorry, Zero. Zero, no! <laughs> so we're gonna load up Octo Sunflower stage real quick. We're gonna try and, since we got some extra time here. Um, boy, do I have extra time, jeez. We're gonna try and get to the, uh, the special fight in this stage real quick. Yep, that's right. 30 hit combo. Nope, wrong way. Nah, I've ruined the combo now, dang. What's cool, so what's cool about the, uh, the Luminate Axel is that he has infinite hover while he's attacking. 
which is kind of ridiculous. Hey, it's excellent. And now it's Mega Maximum. I ruined the combo, but let's see how high we can get on... Uh... All I can think about is Devil May Cry right now. <laughs> Styling. Uh, oh, hey, we're still 85, 90. Can I get to 100? Nope. Nope. Done. I'm flying. Uh, Axel's the uh, Axel's laser web. What is it called? Ray gun, <laughs> of course. Is uh, it's kind of ridiculous. This one is a pain in the butt still. Oh, okay. That was easy. I just gotta make sure I don't die. That's the only thing I gotta make sure, or I don't get a, uh, I don't lower the rank. Cause I don't wanna do this all over again. We're still gonna double attack here. Cause this fight's annoying. I think for the rest of this, we're gonna switch back to X. I kinda forgot what the, uh, I always forget in which order the the trials are. Oh, this is the giant. This is the giant uh, not serve bot. Let me go back to Axel here. All right, <laughs> giant not serve bot's dead. Oh. this all over again now. All right, we're gonna do this real quick. <sighs> Don't die, kids. <laughs> no. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, Sickness wait. is gonna... Nice work out there. Take a well-earned break. All right. Nice step out there. Take a well-earned break. <laughs> we're gonna do this again. Oh. You're getting all the respects right I, now. I see that. I, all the I, respects. I, They're just uh, thank flooding you. in. Thank you. I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> well, hey, we'll see if we can get the combo again. Don't worry, we'll do it live. Electrifying. Excellent. Mega maximum. That's the highest it goes. I love how I just, for that one, I just have to, like, you know, randomly shoot, spray and pray. Just hovering around, shooting my lit ray gun. 125. Can I get to 150? Oh, 145. All right, that's whatever. 146. Oh, 146. Oh. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, really? Oh, you... There okay. we go. All right. Go somewhere easy. Thank you. The problem is, is that... <laughs> on, well, the problem is that on S rank, you don't know where he's going to pop up, and sometimes he pops up in the most like terrible areas to try and shoot. Double attack this one. Because this fight is still annoying. 
the only time Axel actually uses uh, uh, two guns. Even though every artwork depicts him having, you know, dual wielding. It's the only time he does it is, is uh, in the double attacks. I'd be better off with both of them. All right, the not serve bot here. There we go. You know, I'm just gonna keep Axel. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna get Axel some health back. Now we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep him real quick. Oh oh. All right. Oh, uh, we're not gonna Nova Strike this guy yet. This one should be pretty easy. There we go. There we go. Wait, Hutch is not actually Hutch, so he's an imposter? Oh, no, 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 Yes. Queen Doppel Populous. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that time was, uh... Avoid the spikes. All right, cool. As long as I don't Ooh. die here, we should be fine. Don't jinx yourself now. Everyone is watching you. Well, at I do home. Have, no pressure. Though. I do have ray guns. It's going to make this fight <laughs> a little bit easier. Mega maximum. I mean, I don't. I don't, worry, I don't have to worry about uh, killing him quickly. I just got to worry about not dying. All right, there we go. All right, so as I said before, when you get all seven uh, S ranks, you actually get to fight a special boss. Medals. That all boss the was medals. Hard. Okay. You beat him so you you ready, are you ready there? for this? I don't know. Hold on. Oh. It's, it's got man. Oh. All right, so, got a question for you. How do we kill him? Do we do Nova Strike? Do we do double attack? You're ruthless. How, what, how, Look I mean, at him. You don't want to hurt him. Well, he's hurting me right now. Well, that's because how you're letting him. So what do we do, double attack, Nova Strike? <sighs> what do we do, guys? I mean, if, if you must, I mean, if you, Really want to kill what? nostalgia here? Just, just destroy Nova? my childhood. Double here. Nova? I can't do it. No just... Nova, Nova. Okay. Dead. It's over. You, you killed history. What is Mega Man? I don't even know anymore. It's done. Uh, Nova Strike. <laughs> yep. All right. So that's that's the uh, that's a cool little hidden thing. Um. What do I got? I got about uh, 10 minutes. Don't okay. compliment him, Cygnus, okay? <laughs> he killed my childhood. I got about 10 minutes here. All right, <sighs> so we're going to do, we'll do the other secret thing. Like I said, you can actually play as the, uh, the operators. They uh, function just like X-Zero and Axel. So Aelia uh, is just like X. She's got the double charge. The only thing that she doesn't have is the armor system like X. Uh, we're going to switch to Lair here. Lair also has all of... Oh, really? Okay, fine. There we go. That is the best weapon in this game. Yes, the opinion. Sigma Blade. The Sigma Blade. You can actually wield Sigma Sword in his final form in this stage. And it's... Uh, it kind does, of OP. It does, mass, it does massive damage. <laughs> so like I said, you can actually play as the Operator. So Lair plays just like Zero. She has all of Zero's attacks as well. And then the last one, Pallet, uh, she plays just like Axel. So it's kind of cool. It, it's kind of a neat little Easter egg. Uh, someone was telling me that they actually, I think it was, I think it was Tavers. Uh, she was telling me that they recorded dialogues for Al, uh, X Zero and Axel uh, in the reverse roles if you're playing as the operators, but I don't. 
I couldn't find anywhere else on that. All right, cool. Miles now done. You know, it's kind of sad. That would have been cool. All right, let's see if we can let's see if we can do this. I got about five minutes or so. And we're just gonna kill all the signal clones. Even that one up there. That Sigma clone is like, I'm gonna ambush them. Oh, I'm dead. Would you like to move this Sigma clone to the recycling bin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Sigma does not need a clone Clippy. <laughs> Sigma does not need a clone Clippy. Please no. Please register your copy of Microsoft Office. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, they're all dead. Now we're gonna switch back to Alia real quick. Oh, damn it, I did the same thing again. Okay, that's back to the rocket launcher. All right, this, I hate this jump. All right, cool. Jerks. The only unfortunate thing about playing the operators is that there are no cutscenes. The bosses just are like, oh, okay, time to kill you. That would be interesting. Yeah, they just... I get a whole different cutscenes for them. See, nothing. Ow. My sword's bigger than yours. Oh. No, they're about the same. <laughs> oh no! Fireworks missed. All right, fine. We'll get Alia. We'll get Alia out of there. By the way, you've been live for eleven hours. I think you need some I've been, water. I've been I've been live for eleven hours. Yes. I thought I slept. <laughs> All right, we gotta switch back. All right, cool. Stage two. Switch out. Uh, okay, cool. All right, stage three. Thankfully, the uh, signal blade has an instant guard break. Doesn't help me from dodging, apparently. Oh, no, 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 no. Crap, crap, crap. Get out. Ooh. Hit him in a place you really shouldn't hit a robot. <laughs> and then we go right into Illuminate. No, no cutscene. No, just, all right, cool. This is going to be rough. Okay. Ah, come on. Taste destruction, okay. <laughs> Better she said taste the rainbow. <laughs> Ow, I didn't pay just storm. <laughs> I didn't pay attention there. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta heal up. There we go. What are we doing? What, what's up? Oh, ow. Oh, okay. Will you just go to your third stage yet? No, that's not your third stage. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> All 
I made him angry. Chose the fruit punch skittle on you now. Oh no! <laughs> Taste it! <laughs> Ow. Oh. Ow, that hurt. I gotta get Lair back up. What are we doing now? Is this Dark Mantis again? Oh no, this is Lightning Bolts. I don't feel like pulling out Crystal Wall just for this. Oh, but I could have. Could have killed Luminae right there. Come on! There we go. All right, let's get this real quick. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's see if we can fight Seraph Luminaire real quick. You can do it. Because up next on stage, uh, we've got Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Ooh. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Stop with the lasers. Please stop with the lasers. Taste destruction, not taste the rainbow. Ow. We actually did get another donation. What was going hasn't, on hasn't from gone a yet. anonymous donor? Twelve dollars and seventy-one cents. And they actually voted for in the uh, mighty gun bolt first. They want Joel, please. So thank you for that donation. Okay, got to pay attention to this one. And also thank you to all you guys hanging out with us this early morning. Think I'm safe here? Yeah, I'm safe here. Oh. oh, okay, got to be careful on this one. See, the problem is, is that the vertical... Uh, ow. The vertical ones are a lot harder because you don't have the invincibility dash boost. But we made it work. Is this Paradise Lost yet? Nope. Still has a couple more attacks in them. No, I don't want to taste destruction. No, thank you. Ow. Of course, it's that last hit. Okay. Now he's ready for Paradise Loss, because he's immune. Just got to dodge the last of the attacks. All right, we're good. We're gonna switch back to Lair real quick because Sigma Blade. I almost walked right into Lumine. And let's work together one last time. So yeah, that's playing with the operators. That's a cool little Easter egg. That's a lot of fun. Press zero for operator. <laughs> What's sad is I didn't even let Zero have the final fight, but I brought Lair into the fight, because, you know. Well, because it's a new game plus save file, essentially, but. Yeah, and then, then it just, it just fades to black and goes right to the credits. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, so, yeah, that's the Cutman fight and uh, the, uh, the operators, the cool little Easter eggs in the game. Definitely worth it. Well, thank you guys so much uh, for our run for Mega Man X8. Like I said, up next is uh, uh, Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Yes. So that's going to be a Very lot of fun. Um, and then we're going to be back up on stage later this afternoon with Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. So can't wait for that one. Um, guys, thank you so much for all the donations to uh, the Mega Manathon and for Child's Play Charity. We really do appreciate it. Uh, we've also got uh, some cool prizes, too, uh, if you donate. So it's all going for a good cause. Hex, thank you so much for uh, jumping here on the couch. My pleasure. And uh, awesome. we will see you guys later. Have a good one.